Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and that was VCA from page six of the Nard book. This solo is a little bit similar to the downfall of Paris because it has these stickings in the first measure that go like this. So you could do that a number of different ways. You could do that as singles. But I choose to do, with, do it with that sticking of right, right, and then left, left. Okay, so you can do that or not. There's no stickings written in, so feel free to experiment. This solo is not too difficult uh, at a slow tempo. Uh, if you do it fast, like I just did at quarter note equals 116, it does have some complexity built in. You also notice those staccato dots over some of the four note groupings. So those I'm doing is paradiddles, and I'm using more wrist when I see those dots like this. Get a little more staccato sound, and that's what those dots mean. They're staccato. So we'll play this solo for you slower now at quarter note equals 100. One, two, one, two. So hopefully you can see there where I'm using a little more wrist on those paradiddles. The next solo on this page is called Bob Persons. This is one of the most difficult solos in the book. There's a few tricky ones. And this one is hard because of the triplet stickings. So let me play it for you and then we'll talk about it. So we'll do this one at quarter note equals 112. One, two, one, two. So you see there uh, uh, the complexity of playing those triplets that fast with singles. Now, there's several stickings you can use. You can use a Swiss triplet sticking, which is this. You can go same hand. Or you can alternate. And that's what I choose to do. It is the most difficult sticking, but I think it sounds the best because you're going hand to hand, so it's a little more balanced. So let's try this one slower for you at quarter note equals 100. One, two, one, two. You'll notice that uh, second part of the solo, we have those accents. Let's just talk about that for, for just a second here. Uh, it's unexpected, so you need to lay into these uh, accents, especially on that five-stroke roll. I'll play that for you up to tempo now. One, two, one, two. So you see there how I'm laying into those accents on the short five-stroke row. And 
the single stroke triplets there in the last line is very tricky. Got to be careful not to get that flam flat. And let's do the last one on this page. This is called the RI drummer. RI stands for Rhode Island. And this one's pretty straightforward. We'll do this at a brisk march tempo of 120. One, two, one, two. So I think of this one as more of a street beat kind of thing. Uh, let's do it slow for you at 100. One, two, one, and two. It's actually harder to do this one slow than fast. So I hope you enjoyed page six of the Nardbook, and we'll be back soon with page seven.